We were just talking about the straight goods for pre-emerged corn herbicides, but let's face it, today there are a lot of combination products, we call them premixes, that are much more popular than the straight goods. Let's start with the most basic premixes, many of which have been out for a long, long time. We look at things like Harness Extra and Keystone and the Bicep products that have a Group 15, one of those grass killers, Harness, Surpass, Dual, Outlook, Zidua, plus Atrazine. Now these types of products we normally will not recommend, well we'll never recommend them because we don't like to put the atrazine out pre. You just don't have control of a lot of things. With atrazine you're more prone to having it leach away putting it out early. You don't have weeds that are already growing and plants that are already growing to take that atrazine in. There's just a lot of reasons why we would choose some of the other combo products instead. Okay so very specifically the reason why we don't like the atrazine pre's it's really the environmental reason. Also we do worry a little more about carryover over certainly than the non-atrazine choices and we also kind of look at weed control there are a lot of resistant weeds out there to atrazine so we just say you know what instead of putting atrazine out pre if we're going to use atrazine at all we want to use it post emerge now i will say this when darren said we don't recommend these products I don't mind them if you want to use them early post, but in terms of what should you use pre, these are not at the top of our list. Then let's look at some of the other combination products that are out there. You look at the Sure Start and Triple Flex category would be one where you've got a Group 15, plus you've got Stinger, plus you've got Python. So you've got three different modes of action in this product. Now they may not be the first modes of action that you're choosing for pigweed control, but they are very effective on quite a variety of weeds and they're inexpensive. We see a lot of growers utilizing these products at rates where you're getting kind of a cut rate of a group 15, plus you're getting a decent rate of the Stinger and the Python. Let's compare that to Verdict, where you've got a group 15 outlook in there, plus you have Sharpen. Sharpen is one product that can't be used early post. So whenever we talk about Verdict, this is pre-emerge only. That's it. As soon as that corn has started to spike, you cannot use Verdict anymore. I really like Verdict though because it's got the group 15 of course, but Sharpen has a lot of activity on broadleaves, more than what the Stinger and the Python are going to have on certain weeds like water hemp and Palmer pigweed as well as kochia. That is a big deal because those are key driver weeds and honestly the reason that many farmers are going to the these combination products to begin with. They want a higher level of resistant weed control, Roundup resistant weed control, and, and that may be what, weed control. That may be what you're considering on your farm as well. So then we get into this other category of combination products that include an HPPD. And there's quite a few here to mention. All right, I would start with Armazon Pro and Harness Max because they both have the same two chemical families. They have an HPPD and they have a Group 15. Yes, the Group 15s are different. Yes, the HPPDs are different, but it's still same chemical family. You're going to see almost identical weed control. The big difference here is just flat out, they're from two different companies. So if you prefer Bayer and you want to get in on some of their rebate programs, well, then you're probably going to go with the Harness Max. If you'd rather use a BSF product, you want to get in on some of their rebates or financing, that's where Amazon Pro fits. Another really popular product that's out there is Resicor that has an HPPD in it as well. And, and when we think about products that are going to get used, as Brian mentioned before, either pre or early post, this one certainly gives you that option too. With Resicor, what you're getting is a Group 15 as well as an HPPD, and there's some Stinger in there as well. So you have three different chemical families. Another very popular HPPD combination product has been Corvus, where you have an HPPD plus an ALS killer. You've got both products with residual activity out in the field. Here's the caution that I have though. How many effective modes of action do you have with this one when you have so many ALS resistant pigweeds out there? If you're targeting pigweed, you may want to choose something different. Yeah, it's kind of like Acuron Flexi. They'll say, oh, there are three different active ingredients in there, and there are, but two of them are HPPD. So you've got two HPPDs, so that's really one chemical family, then you've got a group 15. There's also straight Acuron, and that is the same thing as Acuron Flexi, just added atrazine. Well, we talked about a lot of combination products that have an HPPD component. The real key takeaway here is if you're using an HPPD pre, you can't use that HPPD post-emerge. So if your favorite post-emerge program revolves around a Callisto, Lotus, Impact, or Armazon product, 
you really shouldn't be using those HPPDs with your pre. Yeah, what we're saying here is it just comes down to pre-planning. If there's a product you want to use pre-emerge and it contains an HPPD, well, that's going to change your post-emerge recommendation. You're probably going to go status post. If you want that HPPD post, then you've got to go with something like Verdict that doesn't contain an HPPD pre. Most commonly when we're talking about these combo products, we're seeing cut rates getting used in front of Roundup Ready or Liberty Link hybrids. And when you're looking at a cut rate for sure, you're not getting season long control. The question is, could I use a high rate to these products and have it be the one pass I make all year? Our answer to that is no way, not a chance, not going to happen in most cases. Every once in a while, you'll luck out. You can do one thing pre and you don't have lots of weeds come back. But we want really clean fields and we want high yields. So typically, that's why we're starting with something might be a full rate or a partial rate of a pre. And then we're doing something post emerge that gives us some residual to finish off the season and certainly kill any weeds that just escaped our pre. Well, we gave you a lot of options there for weed control in front of corn, but what about controlling our weed of the weekend? Other crops too? We'll talk about that right after this.